Hi, how's it going? So I'm hoping that you are enjoying this Thanksgiving week. As I record this, this is a couple days before Thanksgiving, and I don't know about you, but it looks a little bit different this year than the Thanksgivings that I've had of past. Typically, I would be preparing the house for family and friends coming in and our annual Landry Christmas party that we have that either happens the Saturday after Thanksgiving or somewhere thereafter. And this year looks completely different than it has been. Uh, and that includes how the holidays are going to look. And so um, I'm just enjoying this space that I have overall just to kind of be and get creative, it, you know, as it relates to how 2020 is going to end for me. And so as I do that, I um, have been getting some special requests, requests to talk about various topics. And so last week's vlog in particular was grit and grace. And so we talked about kind of like hanging in there because we're going to get to the other side of this overall. And then I touched on just very briefly the thresholds that people have in terms of their willingness to, and how they're dealing with COVID overall and that we need to respect people's thresholds. And so in so doing, I had one of um, one of my faithful watchers and readers um, who reached out to me and said, I'd like you to talk a little bit more about that, please. And so that's what today we're going to talk about is respect and tolerance. And if we learned anything in 2020, I'm hoping that we, we learned a little bit more respect and tolerance. And so, and I'm not talking from the political aspect of things or Black Lives Matters or anything like that. And that absolutely has taught us a lot more about respect and tolerance. But in particular, I'm talking about the COVID aspect of it because that's the easier one for me to speak on overall. And so what I'm talking about is the spectrum of threshold that people have regarding their holding on to their safety. And some people are really at the complete opposite end of the spectrum in terms of being, you know, never, never stopping, going out to eat, everything else, because they just don't feel like they are at risk as much versus, you know, other people, including myself, who um, have kind of really shut it down, who haven't gone out to eat, who haven't even brought in takeout food uh, since March, but, um, and it's everything in between. And so, and in conversations that I have, it's always kind of interesting to see where people fall in terms of what they deem as safe and unsafe. Is it safe to go to the grocery store or is it safe to go to the chiropractor or is it safe, you know, to go get your nails done and everything in between in terms of how we guard it at, as it um, relates to our safety. And so I think that it's people's perceptions like everything and we need to respect their perceptions. And we also need to be tolerant of it in terms of knowing that you're going to deal with it however you're going to deal with it. It's a pandemic. We don't have a playbook for this by any means, right? And so as it relates to relationships, I think that it's a true test. And so it's a test overall from a tolerance standpoint and a respect standpoint, because people really will appreciate your tolerance and respect. And it deepens the relationship, just knowing that you understand their point of view and where they're coming from. And then ultimately, at the end of the day, you, you say, okay, whatever you need, however I can help you. And then continuing to check back with them. We will get to the other side of this. And actually, the relationships that we have will be better and deepened for it if we really have that respect and tolerance. It's a humanity issue in my, my mind in terms of respect for our fellow people. And so as we sit here walking into December and um, the holiday season, I just know that we are going to be changed in 2020. And I'm standing with the fact that I am better because of it. And I'm looking for new opportunities to just continue to be a better person overall. And so it's a deep subject to have um, during this holiday weekend, but I hope that you're enjoying just kind of throttling back and letting whatever creative means that you have happen and spending that time with your loved ones. You take good care of yourself. Please stay safe and healthy and reach out if I can ever be a resource to you. Take good care.